everybody, it's Heather with Diamonds and Dragonflies, and I'm here today with our weekly whip and chat. Uh, for those of you who are returning, thank you. I appreciate your continued support. And for those of you who are new, I hope you enjoy yourself and you stick around for a while. Um, for those of you who are new, uh, if you're wondering what a whip and chat is, whip stands for work in progress and chat means we're gonna we're gonna chat we're gonna talk about things that are upcoming uh things that are uh been happening in my life uh things going on in the diamond painting community uh just a little bit of everything i guess so um you might say heather you do not have a canvas in front of you and no i do not um i am going to be transferring uh this kit that I had kitted up, it's part of one of my whips, um, but because of the Just Breathe 2024 event that I am hosting that officially started today, um, not the day I'm filming this, I'm filming this on Sunday, but this is gonna go up on Wednesday, May 1st, and the event will have actually gone live as of five o'clock yesterday, April 30th. Um, so uh, you guys should already be well on your way on working on your canvases for that event. If you, if this is the first time you're hearing about the Just Breathe 2024 event, uh, please go back and look in my channel. There is a video that was up on Sunday with all the rules and regulations and requirements and, and all that good stuff about the event. Um, and you still have time to participate. Um, there is a list of pre-approved kits, but you can join, you need to join the Facebook event page if you have Facebook. If not, you'll have to do it through Instagram, but you can email me and ask to have your kit approved if it is something that speaks to you um, and helps you with your mental health or speaks to you about your emotions and your feelings. Um, pretty much anything that's not you know, graphic, dark art, I'm going to kind of put it that way. We don't want anything horror or anything like that that could be triggering to other people. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't do a Christopher Lovell or, or something like that. Um, he's the only artist I can think of off the top of my head that does a lot of uh, dark art, so to speak. Um, but, you know, we're trying to keep it uplifting, cheery, bright, that kind of thing. But whatever speaks to you. Um, but you can go and ask, uh, your start photos have to be posted by 1159 PM this Friday. And, um, you can enter up until May 10th, but you would, after May 3rd, you will need to post your, um, your start photo, so to speak on the week one progress or the week two progress post, um, that will go up on Monday May 6th, I think it is. I don't have a calendar in front of me. So I think it's May 6th. Um, but you can still enter and join the event up through May 10th. Uh, after May 10th, no new entries will be permitted. Um, there's a Google form to fill out. Uh, it is, it will be, um, the event, Facebook event page will be linked below. Uh, I will try and link the Google form down below. Uh, the Google form is uh, linked in my bio on Instagram, uh, so you can check that out there. And I hope to see you guys there and look forward to seeing you all there. But, however, if you are a loyal subscriber and you've been around for a while, you know that I prefer to work out of trays. Well, currently over half of my... Uh, tray collection is being used up um, housing canvases that I am not going to be working on in the month of May due to doing the event. Because not only am I doing my event, Just Breathe 2024, but I was able to piggyback my canvases with three other events that I'm going to be participating in. One of them is Art and Souls You Matter event. So if your kit is an art and soul kit, you can participate in the Art and Soul You Matter event. I will have the Art and Soul Facebook group 
linked below, which is where you find the information about that event. Um, the second event that I am participating in, in addition to mine, is uh, Alyssa, the Diamond Stitcher, is hosting the May DP Along. Um, it's a very laid back event. She's got some fabulous prizes, guys, but no new start required, no minimum canvas, no finish required, just basically no theme, just have a good time. Um, so pretty much any kit you're doing, you can participate in that. She is running the event through her Facebook group, D um, DAC Fans Canada. Um, you do not have to be Canadian to belong to the group. It is open to everybody. Um, the Canadian part is primarily for the D-Stash. So if you post any D-Stash photos on there, you have to be willing to ship to Canada. Um, that group, Facebook group, I will have linked below where you can get the details and get the Google form to fill out to participate in her event. You will need a start photo uh, to do her Google form. The Google form for Just Breathe 2024 is just for prizes. The start photo has to be posted to either Instagram or Facebook um, to one of the two. Or if you are not on social media, you can email me your start photo. Um, and if you need the Google form and can't access it through YouTube for some reason, um, you can email me and I can email you the link for the Google form. Um, the third and final event that I am participating in outside of my own is the Bella Art Day Nicole Space Diamonds event that is being held in the month of May. Um, it needs to be a kit that has something to do with space, um, the uh, sky, you know, zodiacs, astrological, that kind of thing. Um, so I am doing a Bella Art Diamonds kit called um, What Hides in the Dark. And it is actually a kit that will check off all the boxes except for the art and soul box. Um, so I will be able to do that kit for mine, Space Diamonds, and the May DP along. So that kit will work for three out of the four events that I am planning on participating in. Um, my Eeyore Finding Hope is the kit that I will be doing for You Matter. So I have an unboxing of that video on my channel. Um, so you should go check it out. It is, it's pretty awesome. So it's a pretty awesome kit and I'm looking forward to getting to start it. So that will be coming up and happening soon. All right, so let's get talking while I transfer. I'm gonna transfer these um, kit from my trays into some Elizabeth Ward. Uh, I was waiting for, I had to order some more. Um, and so I got some more and they finally showed up and now I can transfer my diamonds. So let's get moving. Oh, and I will be using my Elizabeth Ward Bella Art Day Nicole funnel. Um, that's what I forgot. I forgot my baby wipes. I do use baby wipes. I just go to the dollar store and buy a pack from the dollar store. I'm getting low, so I, I think I need to go and get some, some more here. Um, whoop, well, that gave me two, and I didn't need two. All right. Um, and I just wipe down everything. I just find it helps a little bit with any static that might be happening. And I like to use a baby wipe to uh, wipe down my trays when I'm done. But how the funnel works is I'm going to open my Elizabeth Ward and it holds all sizes of the Elizabeth Ward containers. So I can put that in, then I take my stopper off. Did I get everything? Nope, there's some that's stuck. All right, get my little, I have a little brush here. And sometimes, most of the time when the drills get stuck, they're getting stuck because they are misshapen and they're too big to fit in the groove. So they get jammed in there. All right, so we got that out. Close that up and 
Then I'm going to take off my sticker here very carefully and put it on the new container. All right, and there we have that one. Normally, I pay close attention to trying to use the container that fits the best in size. I'm not overly worried about that today. Time is of the essence, so to speak. I have two kits that I have to get kitted up and I just want to be able to get to that. Um, I am going to try and see if this will fit in this one. Get that munched in there. All right. So how has everybody been doing? Um, I hope y'all have been doing okay. I have had some up and down days this past week. Um, it's been a rough one from a pain perspective. Um, I've had quite a few days where my back just has not been cooperating and that's been frustrating. Um, I've had a lot of days where my hand has been really giving me a fit. Um, today being one of them. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm not diamond painting. I am swapping out drills. I mean, I need to do this anyway, but I wasn't going to film it, but I'm like, you know what? I might need to go ahead and film it with how I'm feeling. Well, you know what? I think I can get that in there. Let me try. I'm going to end up making a mess. I can just tell. Um, I can feel it in my bones that I'm going to make a mess. Yep. I mean, I'm already making a mess. If I don't have to use the big giant containers, that saves me space in my tray. Because I really love to try and get this kit all in one tray. Um, so, Friday, my back was so bad, I couldn't even stand up. I walked around literally bent in half. I was bent over in half. I could not stand up. It was, it was pretty bad. Um, I ended up laying back down and going back to sleep. Okay, this looks like it's a lot more than that other one. So I think we are going to go with this one for this. Um, an escapee. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I ended up going back to bed. Oh yeah, I definitely needed a big one for this. This wasn't going to fit. Um, so that was a not fun day. Now, when I woke back up, I guess my back decided to relax enough and it stopped seizing up. Oh wow, these do not want to come out. Yeah, they are all not very pretty drills. Um, that it was much better, uh, which was good because my husband and I had tickets to go to the movies to go see uh, the new Ghostbuster movie. Um, so I was able to go. Um, I was able to go do that. I'm throwing things on the floor now. Threw my stopper down on the floor. Um, so I was able to go do that, which was, which was nice. So we had a good time at the movies. Um, it was a good movie. It was very cute. Well, I don't want to say cute. Cute to me implies like cartoon cute. 
It wasn't cartoon cute. Um, it was a good, funny movie. Um, it was well done. Um, obviously, it's not like a blockbuster, you know, type movie. But it was, it was a really good movie. And I was glad that we went. And um, that I got to go see it with my husband. So it was, it was a good evening. Um, I know some people have made the comment that, you know, they can't afford to go to the movies and I'm so sorry about that. Um, we are able to because we take some, we have regal cinemas around us and the regal cinemas has a monthly membership where you pay $18.99 a month um, and you can get in to see as many movies as you want during the course of that month. Um, you can cancel anytime. You are not locked into, at least as far as I know, you can cancel anytime. Um, so you can try it out and if it's not for you, then, you know, you don't have to do it. But as long as there's at least two movies a month that you want to go see, it pays for itself. So it pays for itself in two visits, but it gives you free entrance. The only um, stipulation or caveat with it is that you can't see the same movie twice in the same 24 hour time frame. So for example, we went and saw Ghostbusters. I wouldn't have been able to turn around and go see Ghostbusters again right after seeing it the first time. Um, I might be able to get those in here. Um, so that's the only, like, you know, caveat, so to speak, or restriction, I guess. But let's say I wanted to see Ghostbusters and then I wanted to go see Dune. Um, two, I could do that. I could go see both movies at the same time on the same day. Um, and then this year they added another feature, um, which is that they're offering refillable cups and popcorn bucket. So it is $32 for Regal Unlimited. Anyone can get the popcorn bucket. And the drink. It is discounted if you are a Regal Movie Unlimited member. You can get a cup and popcorn bucket, re, um, refillable cup and popcorn bucket for $32. And then to purchase them to start with. Well, after you make your initial purchase with them, then it's $10 every time you bring them back to the movie theater to get them refilled. So you get a large popcorn and a medium drink for 10 bucks. So um, we ended up getting two cups and the popcorn bucket. And so it cost us $13 for us to get a large popcorn and two medium drinks. So when we go to the movies now, since we're paying the monthly $18.99, now granted, yes, we are paying that for each of us. So it's, let's see, what is that, 19 so $38 a month. We pay for the Regal Unlimited membership, but then it's only $10 the day that we want to go to the movies to get our concessions. I mean, if you don't do concessions when you go to a movie, then you wouldn't be paying anything else. And that is our entertainment. We don't go to concerts very rarely we haven't been to a concert since september of 2022 um primarily because of my spine um it makes it really difficult for me to go and attend a rock concert um we don't travel so we don't take day trips or things like that because of my back so going to the movies is one of the few things that we can actually do for entertainment that gets us out of the house um, that I can do. 
because I get to sit. Our Regal Theater has the reclining seats, so I get to sit with my feet propped up and it reclines back and I can relax and have a nice evening at the movies. Um, so it really works for us. Um, so, you know, that's, that's how we afford to do it because if we had to pay, well, it wouldn't be a video with Heather without me spilling some drills, would it? Nope, it would not because that's what I do. <laughs> um, if it wouldn't, if it wasn't for this program, we wouldn't be able to go. Um, we would not be able to go to the movies, um, especially on the fly because we, we just, we wouldn't have the money. We are a paycheck to paycheck family and I can't, you know, we can't afford to, we don't have the disposable income to just decide on a whim that we want to go to a movie. So, if that's something that you like to do and you love going to movies, but you haven't been able to because of, you know, the expense, it might be something that you could look into and see if it's something you could afford, you know, to do um, and make it an affordable thing that you can do for entertainment purposes. So, I hope that me sharing this information will benefit somebody out there. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying here, people. I'm trying. Um, getting ready for Mother's Day. My mother-in-law is coming out to visit. Uh, she will arrive May 8th. And so we've been trying to get some things cleaned up and straightened up around the house. Um, she has not been out here. She lives in California. Northern California, and she has not been out to visit since pre-COVID. Um, I want to say it was 2019 that she came out, but it actually might have been 2018, now that I think about it. Um, she was out here the day that we bought the house, which was June, uh, June 7th of 2017, and... She was here when we signed the papers and everything because uh, that same day my son graduated high school and she came. She could not attend Emily's graduation because Emily graduated in 20... No, no, you know what? Was she here for Emily's graduation in 2019? I can't remember. That's awful that I cannot remember. Well, it was either spring of 2018 or spring of 2019 was the last time she was here. Um, but anyway, it's been a while. Now we flew out there um, in 2021. We flew out um, for our 15th wedding anniversary. And we spent a few days in Santa Cruz and San Francisco and then drove up to uh, her house and stayed there for about five days. And we spent Thanksgiving there. So our tech support and I's wedding anniversary is the 17th of November. So we are hoping, fingers crossed, and planning on going out this year for Thanksgiving as well. Uh, that is the hope. Uh, Kirk's father had been living in Alaska. He has since moved back to California and is in a nursing home. Um, his health is very declined and Kirk has not seen his dad since 2006. So... Um, we are hoping his mom is planning on trying to pay to fly us out to come see them for Thanksgiving. 
So fingers crossed that that works. Um, the price of everything has been so high. Airline tickets have been ridiculous price-wise. Um, like I said, my mother-in-law is coming out. Part of the reason why she is attending is my mother-in-law is a real estate broker. Um, and she is part of the California Real Estate Association or something like that. And she's an officer on the board. I don't know. She's been president. She's been vice president. She's been secretary, I think. I don't know what her position is this year. Um, I am not aware. I've probably been told, but I just don't remember. Um, and there is a conference for her to attend in Washington, D.C., which is about two hours from us. Well, in past years, they have paid for her airfare and her hotel for her to attend the conference. Well, I guess this year they're not covering the hotel at all. And they are only paying for half of the flight. So she's having to fork out the rest of the dough, which she was not expecting that. Um, so she's happy that she's going to be able to come and see us. However, She's not happy about the fact that she was not expecting or planning to have to foot the whole bill. And in past years, they've covered the airfare and the hotel stay. But because things have just gotten to be so expensive, you know, they just, they can't. They can't do it. So this is probably going to be the last time that... It's a good possibility that this will be the last time she comes out to visit. Um, she's made this trip a couple of times for the conference um, when we lived at our old house. But I don't think she's going to be able to do it going forward. So that's a bit of a bummer. So we're going to take advantage of it. Emily is coming home. Um, she's going to be here. Uh, my mother-in-law will be here over Mother's Day. Uh, she arrives the Thursday, well, we will see her the Thursday before Mother's Day, and um, she will be, we will be going down to get her that Thursday, and she'll be here until Monday after Mother's Day. And Emily is coming home. She's going to come home the same day that we're bringing Grandma Di up here. So she will be home. William is coming and we will be going down on Mother's Day and picking up Samantha and planning on going to lunch somewhere and doing lunch at a restaurant somewhere. So that should be fun. Um, so I will have my mother-in-law and my husband and all three of my children together for Mother's Day. So that should be really nice. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> I was not able to come up with the funds to attend the Lancaster retreat that is about 40 minutes from my house. So um, I was very disappointed. I had really hoped to be able to go. I've never attended a diamond painting retreat. And quite honestly, I could really have used the getaway, the possibility to socialize, the opportunity to socialize, we'll put it that way. Um, I don't really spend time around other people. Part of it is I don't trust myself to be around other people, but I had looked at this as a positive opportunity to do that because I was only 35, 40 minutes away from my house. I didn't have to fly that 
If it became too much over the four days, I could always leave and come home. I could always call my husband and say, please come pick me up. Um, this isn't working. I can't be here. So I wanted to give it a shot. Well, unfortunately, that is not going to happen. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, it came about last minute. Uh, now that I know about it, I am, I have made myself a note to keep an eye out for it. And I'm going to try to make it work for next year. Um, sorry, I need more of the, the little, the little small ones. That's one of the things that I, I like about the Elizabeth Ward system. I do prefer kitting up into trays. That is first and foremost my favorite way because it it removes, I don't have to do the whole dumping of drills thing. That saves me time. Um, it saves me energy and effort because I don't have to um, dump drills in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, and I am all about efficiency. So being able to eliminate that step is a huge time saver. It really is. Um, you'd be amazed at how much time you save in just being able to kit directly up into trees. Especially when it comes to if you're someone like myself who seems to always end up missing symbols in the sections I'm working on. I don't have to go and um, pull out another uh, thing, dump them, dump, you know, drills in or pull out a couple. I can just grab the tray, boom, done, back. And I can do it while I'm in the middle of doing whatever color I was actually working on. So that is a huge time saver for me. And I am all about efficiency. I hope I'm able to get through this. I've got the max tray done. I'm down to, this is the last small tray in the middle of the tower. So I have one more column to do. And then I have 16 large trays to transfer over. Um, but my, my right hand is starting to give me a fit. So hopefully, hopefully it will knock it off because I'm busy. I'm busy. So I'm very excited for the event. I will be honest with you all. I honestly considered giving out the keyword today and letting everyone start today. I'm one of those people, like I buy presents for the kids at Christmas but I can't wait till Christmas to give it to them. So I wanna give it to them before Christmas. I've gotten better about it as I've gotten older because of course what would happen is I would feel bad because then they've already gotten their Christmas presents and there's nothing open on Christmas day. So I would go out and I would buy even more stuff. So they would have things to open on Christmas day. Well, I can't afford to do that anymore. Times, they are too tough. Um, inflation is unreal and just cannot, can't afford it. Just cannot afford it. Uh, my husband does get a raise in July. It is not going to come soon enough. Um, but his raises are, how do I want to put this? Not as glorious as you would think because my husband works for the state of Pennsylvania, for the Commonwealth. So he is a state employee. Uh, he is a union employee. And they negotiated the new contract and are getting raises every January and every July for the next three years. However, how their health insurance works 
is that it is a percentage of your salary. So every time you get a raise, the cost of your insurance goes up. So that swallows a percentage of your raise. So whereas on paper, it might look like my husband's getting, you know, an extra $100 a month, he's probably only seeing $50. Once you get done with the increase in his insurance that he has to pay, and then the tax bump, that he's lucky if he sees $30 to $50. Uh, a month, not even a paycheck, but a month. I think when he got his raise in January, it worked out to $28 a paycheck is what he actually saw as the increase, which was pretty pathetic. Um, I guess it's better than nothing, so I can't. I know there's some people that don't ever get raises, um, and I get that. And I feel for y'all. And it's... I look back and I think about how much better jobs were and salaries were in the 80s and the 90s. And how if we had been making... Well, let's just put it this way. When my husband and I first got married, our income consisted of his job and he was a floor manager at Target when he first moved out here. He was a floor manager at Target. I was a stay at home mom. I received child support from my ex for William and Emily. I did not receive any type of child support for Samantha. And then my husband was working. That was the extent of our income. Somehow, we managed to rent a beautiful house. Uh, William did karate and swimming lessons. Um, Emily competed in... Emily took ballet, tap, jazz, hip-hop, and competed with a um, local dance troupe regionally and nationally. So, in the spring... We would spend pretty much every weekend or at least two or three times a month at dance competitions where we had to pay for hotel fees sometimes. Um, she had nationals every year. Uh, one year was in South Carolina. One year was Virginia Beach. One year was Wildwood where we had to be there for a week and it was a week during the summer. And if you notice, all three of those places were beach places. So you can imagine what the hotel costs were to stay in hotels in July at the beach. But we managed to do it, to go and stay for a week. And my husband made less than half of what he makes now. Here we are, my husband making more money than he was then, um, almost double, not quite double, but pretty close to double. Uh, we own our own home. Our mortgage payment is less than what we were paying to rent the house in Maryland. But somehow we don't have money to do crap. And when I say we don't have money to do crap, I mean we don't have money to do crap. The trip to California is the first vacation that we had taken since 2015. So we had not been on vacation. Well, that's not true. I, I don't want to lie. That's the first time we were on a week-long vacation. We have done long weekends at the ocean in the off season. We've gone to Virginia Beach and to Ocean City in the off season. And um, been able to, you know, pay for 
uh, like two or three nights. It's never been more than three nights. But it was the off season. So we were paying like maybe 70 to $80 a night for the hotel. Um, but it's the first time we'd taken a week long vacation since 2015. And the only reason why we were able to afford it when we went in 2021 was for two reasons. One, the fact that they were doing all the COVID stimulus checks. So we had that extra income. Uh, we were both working from home. So our car insurance was lower. Uh, we weren't having to buy gas because we were both working from home. Um, and inflation wasn't what it was, like it is right now. So, you know, you fast forward three years and I'm not working. I do receive long-term disability and um, so I do have some income. It's 60% of what I was making before. However, disability income is not taxed by the federal government nor the state of Pennsylvania. So my disability checks are tax-free. So I don't have to, I don't have to pay taxes on them. And so the 60% is actually, since I have no deductions coming out of it, is actually more than what my take home pay was when I was working. So there's really no loss in income with that right now. Now. As you all know, I've been a little freaking out because I'm up for reevaluation. And whereas I'm I'm fairly confident that I am going to be approved. I think they would be an idiot if I wasn't. I don't control it. So therefore, my mental health issues kick in and Heather becomes a basket case. Uh so, you know, there's that. But it's just, you know, it's just a thing. I don't know how, I mean, I go to the grocery store and I just, it just makes me sick when I see how expensive things are. There we go. It just kind of flabbergasts me and blows my mind. And I'm just kind of like, oh my God, are you kidding me? How is that that expensive? You know, like I had to order toilet paper. I'm doing a Walmart Plus order and I need to restock toilet paper. Because I think the one thing we all learned from the um, from the pandemic is always make sure that you have plenty of toilet paper on, hold, on, on hand. So <laughs> I'm... I'm doing a Walmart order and I go to order toilet paper and I'm looking at just getting like a 24 pack of the Mega Rolls of Charmin. Okay. 30 bucks, $29 and some change. I'm like, what? $30 for freaking toilet paper? Are you kidding me right now with this? Are you serious? I'm like, wow. Okay. Um, it makes me extremely grateful that my kids don't live at home anymore. Uh, William lives with his father. Emily has her own apartment in uh, at college. And Samantha lives in her own house, you know, in Maryland. And I'm like, thank the gods because... The amount of toilet paper that we used to go through when everyone lived at home, we'd be in the poorhouse. I mean, literally in the poorhouse. Um, there'd be no way that we'd be able to afford it. 
I mean, come on now. I just can't even, can't even fathom it. Um, so I, I don't, I don't know what it's going to take. Something's got to give. You know, my husband and I used to be able to go to McDonald's or Wendy's or whatever and eat for less than $20 for the two of us. And now it's close to $30, if not a little bit over. You know, God help you if you want to get a milkshake for a change or you want to get a pie um, or something. It, it's just, it's like, nope, can't do that. We don't have have that kind of money, you know, to do that. It's just, it's crazy, I tell you, crazy. Oop. I see drills stuck in the spout. What are you doing in there? Come on. Grab my tweezers. Hello, Mr. Drill. You know you don't want to be in there. There we go. Little devil. Gosh, he doesn't even want to let go. Um, you know, so... It's pretty sad when, oh, I can put these in a small one. It's pretty sad when you can't afford to eat at McDonald's anymore. I mean, that's just sad. That, you know, you can't afford to, to go to McDonald's and get food. That that's considered a luxury and stuff anymore. Um, my husband and I have eaten at a sit-down restaurant exactly once this year. We used to go two, three times a month. It was not unheard of for almost every weekend for us to be, hmm, decisions, decisions. I don't know. I'm going to try. I think I'm at the in-between. So, you know what? I'm just going to do it in this one. I'd rather have to take it out and re-pour it in than be pouring it in the little one and having it spill everywhere. Oh, yeah, I could have done the little one. Oh, well. Live and learn. But, I mean, we just, we can't afford it. The last time we went out to eat was for my husband's birthday. And the sad the sad part is that when we went out, the only reason why we went out is because we thought we had a $50 gift card to cover $50 of the meal. Well, it turns out that apparently we had spent it the year before and I never marked it off or they didn't take it or whatever. And we didn't have a $50 gift card. It's a good thing that we had extra money. Um, well, I shouldn't say that we had extra money. Um, we just had money so that we were able to afford it and pay for the meal. Because otherwise, we would have been washing dishes. I don't even think they do that anymore. I don't even know what they would do if someone came in and then couldn't pay the bill, um, no clue how that would transpire or what that would transpire into. No idea. But fortunately, you know, we did have the fundage to cover the bill. We just, uh, it was just tough the rest of the week. Um, well, now that we've talked about world events, um, let's talk about what's been happening in the diamond painting world. So we are entering retreat time. Um, I know that the Great Lakes event retreat is coming up in June, I think it is. I think, uh, the event that... The retreat that Shay, 
from Crafty Mache. Um, uh, who else? Alyssa, the Diamond Painting Accountant. Uh, Katie from Diamonds and Washi. And Kara, the Principal Painter, are hosting an event in Texas. I don't remember exactly where in Texas. Um, they are hosting the, the retreat, but they are hosting a retreat for the first time. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, like I said, next weekend is the retreat here in Pennsylvania uh, that I wish I could attend, but unfortunately I could not come up with the $250. I mean, that's amazing that it only costs $250. That covers your... Um, Participation at the event, it covers all of your meals and it covers your housing. So that is an amazing price and deal with how things are right now. Um, now you are sharing a room with three other people. Um, but I looked at it that they said that the room where we get to craft in um, and our tables are you can access 24 hours. So I figured if my roommates were loud, noisy sleepers or whatever, I could just go and diamond paint. <laughs> I'll just be in the dining painting room, diamond painting. Um, so uh, there was one person who was kind enough to make a small donation towards me going. Um, so thank you, Tori. But uh, I'm just going to put that money toward paying the shipping costs for the prizes for the event since I was not able to come up with the remainder of the money. Um... There is a link down below where you can buy me a coffee. If you sign up on, if you join my Facebook group that I just started, Diamonds and Dragonflies. Um, I have a profile page that's Diamonds and Dragonflies, but I now have an actual Facebook group. Um, if you join, there is a new member drawing giveaway that I'm doing through April 30th. Um, where you can earn up to five entries into the drawing. Um, I'm giving away a bunch of items. Um, give me one second and I will actually go grab the goodies and I will show you guys in person. Just here on the other side of the room. So, like I said, you can get up to five entries. How you get the entries is you join the Facebook group. That qualifies you to participate. You get one entry for posting a pic showing that you are following me on Instagram. Then you, get, you can get another uh, Entry for showing that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You get another entry for purchase. Guess what? I needed a bigger container for this one. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. Set that down. Put the bigger container in. Pour that in. Um, and then let's clean up the mess. Uh, you get another entry for participating in the Just Breathe 2024. So you show that you are registered on the Facebook event page. Or if you are doing it through Instagram, you show, well, if you're on in order to participate in the giveaway, you have to be part of the Facebook group. So if you're on Facebook anyway for that part, you just need to participate in the Facebook group for Just Breathe. You get another entry.
for making a $5 or more donation through Buy Me A Coffee. Um, you're buying me snowballs is my drink of choice. Um, so you earn your fourth entry that way. Uh, all of the money donated to my channel through Buy Me A Coffee is put right back into the channel for giveaways, shipping costs for giveaways, for me to purchase from small shops to give you guys reviews and um, let you know what I think before you spend all of your money, etc. So that is your fourth entry. And then your fifth entry is if you subscribe to my Patreon. Um, my Patreon subscriptions start at $5 and go up to 10 and then 20 for various behind the scenes content. Uh, you can belong to any level of my Patreon. And you can cancel your Patreon membership at any time. So if you only do it for the first month, you only do it for the first month. Um, starting in May, we are going to be doing for the Patreon for the 10 and 20 tier levels. Um, we are going to start having twice a month Zoom paint alongs where we will be on Zoom together and we will be diamond painting, chatting, etc. in real time. Like a live, except it is a smaller community where we can all see each other. So, and if you are apprehensive about having your face being shown in the live, you are welcome to, or in the Zoom, you are welcome to have your camera aimed at, you know, what you're working on or whatever, like I do for these events like this, for my whipping chats. Uh, there's no requirement that you have to show your face. So, but the um, $20 level, I do a monthly drawing between my members of the $20 level and they can win a gift. But what I'm giving away for the event, and we now have 50 members. Um, I think it's a little over 50 right now, but I will show you real quick. I have three more to do, but I will be giving away a Bella tray. It is a 2.1 tray. There will be four of them, four different colors that you will receive. You will receive an off canvas ornament set or keychain set. You can use it as either. You will receive some, oop, there's more of those. Yep, there they are. You will receive 10 release papers, five of each butterfly. These are from Crafts with Crashly. You will receive a hand-turned resin pen. You will receive a wax putty holder from Bella Art Day Nicole. It has magnets on it, so you can use it as a cover minder. And then you will receive this rose cover minder from Bella Art Day Nicole. So this is what will be given away. You get one entry for up to five different uh, entries that you can do. Instagram, the event group for Just Breathe, YouTube subscri subscriber, buy me a coffee, and Patreon to have your chance of winning that. Just the trays alone um, I think they're eight something each. So just the trays alone are $32. The hand turned pen was 40 something. So that's 72, uh, 10 pack of release papers is eight something. So we're at over $80. 
and then the wax holder and the cover minder. So we're, it's about a $90 value of diamond painting supplies. So it's a, it's a pretty good deal if I do say so myself. So, and I would love to have you there. I have no restrictions on you posting links to other businesses um, or other Facebook groups. I know a lot of um, groups do not allow you to do that. Um, Fridays are self-promotion day. So you can feel free on Fridays to promote your own Facebook group or YouTube channel. Um, I don't look at it as a competition because everybody, one creator cannot create enough content to just support each person. So I watch a variety of creators. I'm sure most of you do. Yes, I have my favorites. I have my favorites that are my go-to, but that doesn't mean that I don't go looking and finding other people when my favorite doesn't have any more content currently, you know, any new content that I haven't watched already. Um, which brings me up to two other things that have happened in the community uh, directly with me, but with a fellow creator. I was pretty upset this past week. As I told you, it was a really rough week for me, uh, physical health-wise, between my back and my hand. Oh, come on. Did not want to give it back to me. Um, and I was really excited trying to find the momentum and um, work through the pain. Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, <laughs> I'm not having any luck here, guys. Oh my gosh. And then I just keep knocking them out. Um, I, you know, was trying to find the strength to deal with the pain and work through it because I had things I wanted to get done. Um, I was mentally excited for my first event ever. I was a little nervous. I'm a little apprehensive. Um, you know, I want to make sure that it's a fabulous event that you guys are all going to love. I want you to be talking about it two or three months from now. God, that was such a great event. You know, I can't wait till, you know, next year and she does it again, you know, kind of thing. Um, I do plan on having, uh, there's not going to be an exit form, so to speak, where it's for entry into the grand prize that you have to complete the exit form, but there will be an exit form that you can complete asking for your opinion. What did you like about the event? What did you not like about the event? What would you like to see different next year? Um, were you happy with the selection of um, prizes that were offered? Um, you know, is there a company that you would have liked to have seen me reach out to that I didn't, um, you know, to give me ideas for next year? Um, that I reached out to a fellow creator who um, is, I don't want to say new to the, the community. They've been around longer than me. Um, but, you know, we're talking like 18 months to two years as opposed to my year to 18 months. Um, now I've been diamond painting for over three years now, but I made my first diamond art club purchase uh, the end of February of last year. So that's when I became inducted, I guess, into, I joined the Facebook group and, you know, the VIP page and, and all of that and became a, a part of the quote unquote community for diamond painting. Um, I sent her a text asking her if she was planning on participating and supporting my Facebook event or my, my diamond painting event. 
um, she herself had done just recently her very first event herself and I had promoted her event on my channel. I had participated in her event even though I was doing four other events. I still participated in her event and I was hoping that she was going to support, you know, reciprocate and, re and support my event. Well, when I asked her if she was participating, she said, oh, I can't, I don't have any of those canvases and I don't have any money to buy a new canvas. I said, you don't have to do any particular canvas. I said, the canvases that are listed there are just pre-approved and you get additional entries into the grand prize draw, but you can do any painting. It doesn't even have to be licensed to get one entry as long as you do your 40 by 40 section into the event. Oh, well, I'm doing a lot of things next month. And so, you know, I, I don't know that I'm going to have time. Okay, well, at that point, I realize, you know, she's, she's making excuses as to why she's not going to support you. And I said, okay. I said, well, I'm sorry about that. I said, I was really hoping that you would reciprocate the support that I had given you for the event. Um, she then comes back and tells me that the only reason that she feels like the only reason why I'm asking for her support is something to do with I'm trying to steal her subscriber count. Um, I was kind of like, what? What are you talking about? So I, I get the impression that she was telling me that she felt that the only reason why I wanted her to mention my event was so that her subscribers would then go and become my subscribers. Well, that wasn't the motivation. My reason for asking her is that I was hoping that more people would hear about the event that we are trying to raise awareness for mental health and showing how diamond painting helps with relieving anxiety and helps with depression, etc. Um, wanting more people to be able to support the event, win prizes, be part of the community, have a safe space where talking about their mental health is not going to get them ridiculed or bullied or made fun of or anything else. Why would you think that I was doing it because I want more subscribers and that's it? That's, that's my only motivation. Yes, would I like to see my channel grow? Of course. Every creator wants to see their channel grow. In doing the event, has it helped my channel grow? Of course it has. Of course it's helped my channel grow. But people don't stick around if they don't like where they're at. I have joined many, I have subscribed to many creators because I participated in an event that they were doing. However, I might not have necessarily enjoyed watching that creator you know maybe that creator is only someone who the only thing they do is go live once a week or they just go live or they occasionally do a sneak peek for diamond art club or for you know another company or they do nothing but unboxing after unboxing after unboxing you know that they do very minimal um, content 
Or maybe I didn't enjoy the event. So I'm not looking at wanting to participate in the future. So I unsubscribe to them. My hope is that you guys that participate in the event and subscribe to my channel, my hope is that you're going to like it here. You're going to enjoy being a part of my little online community here. That you're going to want to stick around. That you're not here just to win prizes in an event. And then you're done. And see ya. If that's why you're here, that's why you're here. And like I said, I myself, that has, I've never joined, I've never subscribed to a creator or joined an event just to get prizes. That has never been my motivation. My motivation has always been because I'm, oh, okay, well, that's the theme. I have paintings for that theme. Let me join. Get to meet some new people. You know, get to find out about other other groups, other creators. Maybe I'll find somebody I like. That has always been my motivation. Not just, well, I want to win prizes. They have some good prizes. And so I'm going to just try and BS my way through with whatever um, kit. And if I win stuff, that's great. And if not, then I'm out of here at the end of the event. If that's your motivation and that's what you want to do, have at it. That that's your that's your call. That's your personal business. That's none of mine. My hope is that you enjoy this content, that you enjoy my whip and chats, that you enjoy my perspective on small shops and on um, diamond painting items and diamond painting companies, and you like my post reviews or my insight or whatever, and that you want to stick around, that you want to be a part of my online community, that you want to get to know me better, that I want to get to know you better, and that you enjoy the content that I am sharing. Not that it's a one and done. If it is, it is. But that's not my hope. It was very upsetting considering that for starters, this person does not have that many more subscribers than I do. Um, they have under a thousand subscribers. They have had their channel for over a year longer than I have. They got a good chunk of their subscribers because they were on someone's live. One of the well-known uh, people in the diamond painting community brought them online um, onto their live to promote them and to help them get more subscribers. So they got a leg up from another creator. They are known better in the community because of the fact that this person, another fellow creator, Gave them a boost. I wasn't asking for this person to do a live with me in them. They don't really do. I think they've done one or two lives. Um, I simply was asking if, one, if they were planning on participating. And two, if they could just mention the event during their next whip and chat. Yeah, my, you know, my friend Heather is a... Uh, you know, our fellow creator, Heather, is hosting an event, Just Breathe 2024, for mental health awareness. Um, you should go check it out. That's it. End of story. It's all I wanted. Um, I think about how so many small businesses have advertised my event. Bee's Crafty Corner, Firefly. Bella Art Day Nicole, um, Lady Lathe Customs, Creations Morin, why, why come at me like that? Why attack me and 
for someone who constantly states about the support she has received from the community and how much she appreciates it and how important this community is to her, why would you act that way? Why would you make me feel, why would you behave in a manner that made me feel like I was doing something wrong? That how dare I? That I had all ulterior motives for asking for your support when I gave you support of my own free will to help out a fellow creator. It was upsetting. Nobody wants to, nobody likes it when they come to the to the realization that somebody doesn't like them. I think as human beings, we all strive to be liked. We all need to feel like we are a part of something. We need to feel liked. We need to feel loved. We need to feel like we have a village. Um... She made me feel like I, I was not a part of that. She made me feel dirty. She made me feel um, unwanted, disrespected, left behind. And it was, it was, it was hurtful. And it was very upsetting. Um... I did try to reach out to this person again and ask, why are you treating me like this? What, what have I done that you would be so cruel? No response. For all I know, maybe she blocked me. I don't know. Um, I'm letting it go. There's nothing else I can do about it. Um, I know this person has been having a rough time herself, but you know, the one thing that I have come to learn with my own mental health is that just because you're having a bad day, just because you're going through it, doesn't mean that that gives you the right to be rude or nasty to other people. And we all do it. I wouldn't believe you if you told me that you've never done that. I think all of us at some point in time have been in pain. We've been upset. We've been angry about something. And we have snapped, um, bit somebody's head off, said something rude um, and hurtful as a reaction to how we were feeling. Something triggered us and we just attacked back. I'm pretty sure I'm safe to say that we're all guilty of that. And I've learned through my journey with my own mental health is you can't make up for it. You can't take it back. You can, however, say you're sorry. And you can move forward showing that person that that's not how you feel. And that you didn't mean it. And you're not going to do it again. That's how we grow. Um, so. Not that I feel or think that this person is. This creator is, is ever going to see this video or watch. I'm sure that I am not someone she's ever going to watch again or whatever. That That's fine. I, I truly am okay with that. I don't, it, it's not going to bother me. Um, but on the off chance that they are, it's okay. I hope that 
you are able to work through what you are going through. I hope that you find some peace. Um, and if how you had to get through the day that day was saying something that wasn't true and hurtful to me, but that that helped you in some way, shape, or form, then I'm glad I was your punching bag. At least it, at least there was a point. Mental health is real, people. Um, my ex-husband had no uh, patience for anyone that had mental health issues. His whole thing was just shut up, get up, and do what you need to do. Oh, well, don't boo-hoo me that you're not feeling good or that you're sad. Oh, well. Um, there's a reason he's my ex-husband. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Um, you know, the only thing that he ever gave me was two beautiful children. Uh, you know, I wouldn't trade William and Emily for anything in this world. And I do find it kind of ironic that one of his children has grown up to devote herself and is building her career on being a clinical psychologist and helping people that have mental health issues. So it's kind of funny that someone who, who had no respect for that, who poo-pooed it, made fun of it, um, fathered a child that it's her crusade to bring awareness and to help those in need with mental health issues. As a mother, I couldn't be prouder. I couldn't be prouder of any of my children. They are three amazing kids. Yes, they are my kids. We're all biased. But I guess I get that self-satisfaction that anyone that has met my children always comes back and goes, wow. They're my great accomplishment. And, you know, I could say and I have said, you know, I, I was a mess during their, during their childhood. And I screwed up a lot. And the fact that they survived that and that they are the amazing adults and human people, human beings that they are, I must have done something right. So I hope you all hit that like button and tell me that you liked my whip and chat today. Thank you for keeping me company. I now have a full large tray tower that I can get up into, a full small tray tower that I could get up into, and four out of five tray tower of max trays that I can get up into. So now I get to spend time kitting up my next video or my next uh, kit for. Um, my Just Breathe 2024. I'm going to be using these to kit up What Hides in the Dark by Jorge Urbina, uh, brought to you via Bella Art Diamonds. Um, it is a beautiful kit. It is amazing, and I am very much looking forward to working on it. Um, if you are not a subscriber and this is your first time here, I hope you hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. It is 100% free. It does not cost you anything. You can then hit the bell to be notified of when I put up new videos. And with the event starting, you might want to make sure you do that because there could be pop-up giveaways at any given time. You never know what I'm going to decide to do. Um, I'm crazy like a fox like that. Um, I hope you check out the link below for the Facebook event page for Just Breathe 2024. Or you go and check out my Instagram. Um diamonds underscore and underscore dragonflies it will all there'll be a link down below if you are only on instagram and you want to participate that way 
Um, there is a video that went up this past Sunday, April 28th, that has all of the requirements and the rules on how it's going to work um, for both Facebook and Instagram, or if you only are participating via email, how to do that as well. So I suggest if you do want to participate, you go check out that video and watch it so you get all the skinny. Um, there is a sponsor giveaway going on right now. So if you make any purchases from the event sponsors, uh, you can post two pictures are required. Um, all the information is in a pinned post in the featured section of the Facebook group for the event um, that you can be entered into a giveaway there. You get one entry for every purchase you make from during a certain time frame from April 20th to May 31st of any event sponsor. So you have your chance of winning some prizes. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for keeping me company while I did this. I look forward to hopefully seeing your kits and startup photos for the event. And until the next time, remember, without the darkness, we'd never see the stars. Take care, guys. Love y'all. Bye.